Today's episode is all about manifesting from all levels of your being on the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual levels. Because if you're only doing one or two or three, you're not completely manifesting from every part of who you are. So this might be the reason why you're not manifesting what you want. And I'm going to give you all the deets on how you can manifest faster. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below so that I can answer all of your questions throughout this video. I'm so excited to support you on your journey, and I can't wait to dive right in. Today we're talking all about manifesting from all levels of your being. And so we have these different facets of ourselves. I love teaching in frameworks because frameworks allows us to remember things. It allows us to structure things in our mind so that they are easier to digest and easier to remember. And these concepts help us give us a little bit of a checklist so that we stay on track and we make sure that we're actually following through with all of the things that are going to benefit the most and create the transformation that you want. And so when it comes to manifesting, there are multiple levels of our being that we need to put in check and make sure that we're addressing those areas of our life so that we're manifesting to the highest of our abilities. So many manifestation coaches teach mindset work, and that's where I started too. But as I've continued this journey over the last seven years or however long I've had my business, I've realized that there are many other layers to us that really play a big part in what we're creating in life and what we're manifesting and reaching our goals and all of our successes. And it's more than just your mind. The mind is the perfect place to start. And all of my courses talk about mindset, but there are these other levels of our being that we need to address as well. And these are the emotional, physical, and spiritual levels. So what do all these mean? Like looking at our mindset first and foremost, that's our daily thoughts. That's our subconscious belief systems. It's how we see the world. It's how we verbalize and declare things. It's the incantations, the words that we say and speak into our life about ourselves, about others, about reality, about our potential, about the future, and about the past as well. Everything that we say and think when it comes to language is part of our belief system, and that is part of our mind. The mind is part of the human physical body. And because there are really two parts of us, the human part of us that's in the physical vessel, the physical body that you're experiencing, that's being programmed with the mind, the actual brain that we have sitting in our individual body, that's the very physical, dense, like 3D reality, earthly part of us. But then there's this other part of us as well. And that's your soul. We can also call it our higher self. But that soul part of you is infinite. It lives on forever. It does not die. It reincarnates over and over again into different bodies, into different dimensions of time and space so that we can have different experiences and we can grow on a much more cosmic level. And so that's the spiritual side of us. That's the part of you that's intuitive, right? Your soul is the one giving you nudges. Your angels are the ones giving you nudges from the spiritual realm in order to move you forward and learn your lessons faster, reach your manifestations faster, to do more good on this planet, to be more in alignment with your values. A lot of people also say that your conscience, you know, when you have a conscience and that part of you is warning you, hey, maybe don't do this or maybe you shouldn't be gossiping. It's not a good idea to steal that right now. Those are are the things that are part of our soul consciousness and awareness. It's that part of you that knows a higher truth, that knows that we are all connected. We are all one and we are all here to support and love each other and live our best lives while also lifting everyone else up. And that's the spiritual side of us. That's the part of us that we want to connect to and align the mind to. So the human part of us, that mindset part of us, sometimes holds on to belief systems that don't benefit us, that aren't super helpful. And when that happens, that's where we start to self-sabotage, where we start to say negative things about us, about ourselves. Maybe we don't feel like we're smart enough, we're not good enough, we're not lucky enough to be born into the right family, the opportunities aren't presenting themselves, or things keep happening to me, and why is this, woe is me, I had a bad past, and I don't know if my future manifestations are coming, and where are they? All of those negative things, all the, the belief systems that are in complete opposite 
in opposition to the perversion of you that is fully manifested things, your soul is already there. Your soul instantly snaps into place and knows the vibrational frequency, the beautiful thoughts, the beautiful emotions that are going to be in alignment and allow you to receive your manifestations. But the human part of us, that part is moldable, right? The human mind and the mindset, it has both positive belief systems in it you know, we were brought up with really beautiful belief systems to be kind to other people, to be generous. And maybe you have great confidence and that was built up in you. Your parents told you you could always, you could do anything you want. You could be anything you want. Follow your dreams. Maybe you have beautiful, beautiful belief systems like that. That's part of the mindset. But there's also the negative part of the mindset as well. And those are the parts that sabotage us. And so that part we do need to work on and actually transform how we think and feel. And this is something that I teach in all of my courses, how to reframe your thought process and do it in a way that you're going to manifest things faster. It's going to sink into your subconscious faster. You know, like when we do our guided meditations or we listen to our affirmations and our brainwave state is in that alpha theta brainwave state, that's going to sink in deeper. Doing things with repetition, with more emotion attached to it, that's all going to help mold the mindset. The spiritual side, back to that, that is where mastering your intuition is so important. Because that version of you, that soul higher self is already in alignment. So mastering your intuition is going to help you exponentially. It takes practice, it takes time, and I have lots of videos and podcast episodes and I go even deeper inside all of my coursework on how to truly master your intuition on a very deep level. And that's the beauty of that. So those are the two primary ones that a lot of us talk about. Another one is our emotional system. So our emotions are a reflection of multiple parts. Your emotions kind of reflect a bit of your mindset, your physical body, and they reflect your spiritual body. So moving into the emotional system and the physical part of our body, the physical is a little bit easier to explain. The physical is the actions we take. So no matter what's going on in our mind, no matter how we're feeling that day, if we get up and we take action, we know we're going to get some kind of result, whether it's the result we want to get or just gain clarity because the result didn't turn out the way we wanted to. So now we know the next action to take and the next action to take. So the physical body is very, very important in manifesting and not just action wise, but how are you actually physically taking care of your body? What is the state of the vessel? of the human body that you are currently living in. Is your body healthy? Are you experiencing a lot of brain fog and fatigue? Do you have neurological problems like I do that need to be addressed? What's going on with your physical body? Are you getting enough sleep? Are you getting enough sunshine so that your hormones are on a biorhythm that keep you calm, help you to sleep better and balance your emotions? Are you exercising a minimum of three times a week? Are you getting a little bit of activity every day, which is different than exercise? Activity is standing up, walking around, stretching, moving, and just physically getting your steps in. Exercising is strengthening and toning your muscles. It's a completely different experience where you're strengthening and toning through strength training, through group fitness classes, through yoga, getting your heart rate up and doing cardio. Are you doing these things so that your body functions really well? And the very obvious one is our nutrition. How are you eating so that when you eat, it's not because it's something that just sounds really good in the moment, but something that's going to make you feel good. That's actually going to give you more energy. That's going to rejuvenate the cells in your body. That's going to help you to stay younger on a cellular level long term. This is where I follow all the teachings of Anthony William Medical Medium and doing the things that I'm doing right now so that I can not only heal, but live my best life and live more years down the road, live with more mental clarity, more energy, and less symptoms of any kind. We can reverse the aging process through our diet. We can actually get younger on a cellular level and experience more vibrancy. And all of that raises your vibration. It raises your vibration so that you can manifest more of what you want. And this is important. It's also important because I have found, and this is really reflective of his newer books, the Brain Saver books in particular, is that there are a lot of mental and emotional issues that people have that are directly correlated to an actual physical issue. 
we can do all the inner work, we can do, you know, all of the mindset work and try to manage our emotions. But what if there are physical things in your body that are triggering these emotional upheavals, that are triggering the anxiety, that are triggering the OCD and PTSD and, you know, the bipolar disorder and the schizophrenia or just a a lot of self-doubt, a lot of these negative patterns that we're experiencing. And you just feel physically overwhelmed because you're actually experiencing underlying neurological symptoms that are affecting your vagus nerve, which then triggers the anxiety and the OCD patterns and so forth. You can have heavy metals in your brain that create the OCD. And depending on which part of the brain in, you're gonna have OCD around different things. There's a lot going on in the physical body that needs to be cleared out in order to help you cope mentally and emotionally, in order for you to be a much crystal clear channel for that spiritual information to flow through you. And this is a big, big part that I think a lot of people don't realize is affecting their manifestations. Some people talk about it, a lot a lot of people don't because most people don't wanna hear that eating that junk food, eating the sugar, drinking the soda and the fast food or even eggs, gluten and dairy. Eggs are actually the number one thing you should cut out first before anything else in order to clear out your body and your system. And people don't want to hear that. We love eggs, don't we? Mm, They're so yummy. I love them too. But your body will change. Your intuition will change. Your manifestations will shift when you are a clearer vessel. And these are some of the things that you can think about doing And I'll be guiding you through all of the specific healing patterns and clearing out the physical body and optimizing your body for manifestation in my upcoming course, Manifesting Health and Healing. With that said, let's move on to the emotional part of it. So now we know that the emotions are correlated to all of these other areas. When we think negative thoughts, it actually creates our body to release different hormones that are going to put us into a stressful state and cause us to feel more anxiety, cause us to be in that stressful state where we have higher levels of cortisol and adrenaline going through our blood and our veins and flushing to different organs than they normally would when we're in a calmed state. And so it's important to realize that when you shift your mindset, your emotions will shift. Some people, and there are moments when I'm having neurological issues, whether I'm having a bit of a migraine on one side of my face and I actually get this shortness of breath and I can feel, now that I'm very aware of what's happening on a physical level, I can feel that vagus nerve that runs from your brain down into your gut. I can feel how it's making me physically nauseous. I can feel how it's making it challenging for me to breathe deeply. And then it's also causing sharp shooting pains in my head and face. And so there's all these correlations that there's something physically underlying going on. That's why I'm doing the liver cleanses to clear out that pattern. And when I'm in those moments, when I have those hours or those days where I'm having a neurological flare up, I do feel more anxious. It is harder for me to be in a positive mindset. But what helps me is knowing it's temporary, knowing that I can do something about it, I can heal my physical body and that it will pass and I'll get back to being me. And the more healing and clearing I do on the physical level, the more mentally and emotionally clear I will be, the more I will also be able to channel. So know that there is this biofeedback where when we are feeling emotional and we're under stress, we think negative thoughts and then those negative thoughts feed the stress and the stress hormones feed more negative thoughts and we kind of go run in these circles. So working on the mindset is so important, but also having practices that can calm your body. Sometimes we're getting emotional, not because we have neurological problems, not because there's an underlying physical condition, but you might be thinking about traumas from the past. You might be worried about your future and you might feel stuck where you are right now because you're not really in the present and you're not connecting to your body. So addressing your emotional system from a physical place, not just the physical clearing, but just doing something like breath work going for a walk, meditating, quieting your mind and just sitting, just allowing yourself to be and to be present and to notice the energies in the room and to notice how your body's feeling. Just being really present with yourself can completely shift your awareness and it can shift you out of the body creating more cortisol and adrenaline going into that fight or flight freeze or fawn mode. We can shift 
simply through a couple of breathwork practices, simply through meditation, simply through stretching and gentle movement or being present in the moment to now the body shifts and stops releasing so much adrenaline and cortisol. And now the body starts to release more serotonin and norepinephrine, some of the happier hormones. And we go back into a peaceful state where now the anxiety is gone. We're calmer, we're more present. We've completely shifted what's biologically happening by shifting our body and our thoughts. And so that's a really beautiful process when you learn how to address yourself on an emotional level and honor your emotions instead of trying to avoid them or push them to the side. When you address them and you have a few practices that I teach in my courses, that allows you to now take ownership of your body, to take ownership of that moment and shift how you're experiencing your reality. And now you're raising your vibration. Now you're more in alignment to take action. You're more in alignment to manifest. You're automatically manifesting more positive things when you train yourself and you actually practice getting out of fight or flight through these simple things that you can do. And then of course, we can't forget the spiritual side of us, that soul component and how that influences our emotions. Anytime we do something, whether it's a thought, an action, an emotion, Anything that we do that goes against what our soul really believes in, that goes against who our higher self wants to be, that goes against the version of you that you are trying to embody, because that is the version of you that has manifested all of the things already. Anytime you do things that are in opposition to that, you're going to feel a discord. You're going to feel emotional. Maybe you say something behind your friend's back. You have this habit of gossiping and then you feel guilty. You feel some shame around, oh, I shouldn't have said that. That was actually really mean. That guilt, that shame, that conscience is your soul letting you know this is out of alignment. This action, this behavior is not in alignment with who you really want to be. So we want to pay attention to when we don't feel good. Often when we're emotional, we're not feeling good. It's not just the negative thoughts. It's because the negative thoughts that you're thinking are in complete opposition to the version of you, the soul version of you that's in alignment with your manifestations. And so that's why we feel so horrible. It's very easy to blame the external world. Oh, I feel bad because so-and-so said something to me or this didn't work out. And you can complain about all the things in your external reality, all the people, all the challenges, all the problems. You can blame everyone else and everything else. But what you do in that moment is you're just showing up as the victim, that these external things are influencing how you feel emotionally. And what's out of alignment is not actually the external world. It's how you're choosing to blame and be the victim and how you're choosing to give your power away to all of these external things instead of showing up for yourself in that moment and doing the work. By doing the work, I mean doing the meditation, doing the breath work, showing up and shifting your thought process, taking care of your body and taking the actions that are actually in alignment with who you truly want to be. And so these areas are so, so important. This framework is so magnificent and so powerful when you address all four of them, addressing the mindset, addressing the spiritual part of you, addressing that physical part of you, and then also addressing the emotional part of you. And when you have tools and tactics to master all of these areas and you utilize these tools on a daily basis, you change. You change drastically and quickly. And when you change, your vibration changes, your frequency changes, and you suddenly become a magnet for entirely new things. Right now, if you're getting the same thing over and over again in a different form, in a different outfit, in a different lesson, but it's the same pattern, it's because you have not mastered changing yourself on all four of these levels. Maybe you're doing the mindset work, maybe you're noticing your emotions, but maybe you're not mastering your intuition. Maybe you're doing the intuition and mindset work, but you're not really sitting with your emotions and you're not cleaning out your body and taking the action like you know you should be or you could be, right? Sometimes we just don't know what we don't know. 
And that's why I'm here to explain some of these areas that maybe you never thought about before. Maybe this is a totally new concept for you and you've never been able to quantify why just the mindset work isn't working or why just following your intuition isn't working if you're not you know, analyzing what's underlying, what egos are actually sneaking in and you think those are your intuition, but it's actually the ego. If you don't know how to define all of these things, it's going to be challenging. There are things that you can manifest and master with just a couple of these things, but every person is so unique and so different. On some level, there is work for all of us to do in every single one of these areas. We don't have to be perfect. We don't have to be perfectly happy all the time in order to manifest what we want, but we do need to be assessing and addressing who we are, how we're showing up, and then making little shifts every day and using tools that actually work to change so that you over time, step by step, become more of the person that you genuinely want to be. And you will automatically manifest everything that you desire when you do that. But we do have to show up. We have to show up for ourselves. We have to have the tools and the techniques. And I hope that this gave you an amazing framework so that it opened up your mind to all the beautiful things that you can shift and change and how to show up a little bit better every single day for yourself and to manifest faster. And so for those of you who are really excited about this concept, um, if you're in Soul Mastery School already, congratulations, I'm working with you and I'm so excited to see you in there every week and support you. But those of you who are interested and have not signed up for Soul Mastery School, who are not in Manifestation and Intuition Mastery or any of the other levels yet, be sure to get on my email list. I announce on my email list when doors open, uh, when I have free master classes that allow you to jump in at various times of the year so that you can get the training that you need, so that you can master all of these areas of your life and really level up in a deep, beautiful, brilliant way. And I am so honored and excited to be your guide, whether it's just through this episode here or going further with me. And I'm just so excited to support you and to bring forth all of this beautiful wisdom and information so that you can live your highest and best life because really that's what this is all about. I'm here. That This is my mission and my purpose in life. It always has been and it's so aligned to be able to support you. And I'm just so honored and so grateful to be here for you. I love you so, so dearly. I am so grateful that you're here watching this today. Be sure to like, comment, and ring that bell so that you get notified every time I have a new episode for you. Be sure to check out all the wonderful playlists on my page so that you can binge watch on all of your favorite topics, and I can't wait to see you very soon.